so hungry. Hey everyone, I'm Steph. I'm Kim. And today on Taste the World, we have another special edition. We are doing Toronto Street Eats Market. Yeah, which is almost kind of like a little bit around the world because we're going to get to try a whole bunch of different um, regional foods and stuff. Yep, which is very cool. Egyptian, Filipino, Egyptian is really interesting. Yeah. I've never had Egyptian food properly, have you? No, I've had some middle, well, that's not really, but Middle Eastern. I've had Moroccan, which is very similar, has some similar ties, but never had actual Egyptian food. So I'm very excited about that. One. I think there's also Jamaican, there's some dessert places. So yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll eat as much as we can and hopefully don't. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> you know me, I'll eat until I'm blessed and cry until I'm yes. yeah, She so. will, I won't. So. so we hope you enjoy it. Yes, thank you. Ready? Let's go! <laughs> what do you want people to, to try to say the names? Like, like, oh, Sugo! Oh, yeah, yeah. So, Taiwan is Sugo. Sugo, right? Sugo, Sugo, Sugo yeah. Yes. And then you'd like the Barnabit? Yes. Ah, perfect. Okay. Have you guys tried the different food before? No. Okay, well, today's the day. Today's the day for you guys to try it. But, um, like, what made you pick up? Like, what made you come to the Well, I've always wanted to try it. I personally, I've had, like, rock and stuff. Okay. But I've never had it So unfortunately this part of it has a little bit too much background music so we're just going to give you some commentary instead. This is from Tut's Egyptian Street Food. One is Soguk and the other is Arnabit. Amazing fries too. Yeah, the fries are so good. Uh, they have this seasoning on them called duka. If I remember correctly, it tasted kind of like Old Bay seasoning, which is a very good thing. They were so good. I clearly really like it. <laughs> <laughs> so there's beef in here, some kind of sauce. I think it's like chipotle. There's cilantro on top and... Grilled onions. Grilled, grilled onions. onions. Yeah. Served in a soft, delightfully tasty bread. It was very good. What did it taste like? Was it like spicy or it's more? It's savory, definitely. There's no spiciness to it, but it was delicious. It's a beef sausage. Mm. <laughs> yeah, you definitely like that one. Um, mine was the Arnabit, which is fried cauliflower. And it had a sauce, I believe it was like a tahini sauce, so sesame sauce. And it had like these garlicky tomatoes and some cilantro on top. And I'm pretty sure it was the same bun as you had. Mm -hmm. It was so good. I really liked that sandwich. It was so good. I tried uh, the fried cauliflower and it was definitely delicious. Yeah, she stole a couple pieces. <laughs> See? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, we also found out that they have a location near us, so we're going to definitely yes. try it out. I hope they deliver. Mm, it was so good, guys. <laughs> this is the founder of Street Eats Market. Hey, how's it going, guys? <laughs> well, welcome to uh, Street Eats Market. It's uh, Canada's largest uh, food truck park. Uh, we're doing a series of them, and yeah, we're, we're, we're growing the community. We're helping out as many uh, food truck owners as possible. <laughs> Thanks for coming. <laughs> Coleslaw. Mm. Coleslaw looks nice, fresh. Yeah? Yeah, coleslaw is good. Very good. Mm -hmm. Rice 
rice and peas. Yeah. Soy less real. It's made with soy tofu. It looks good. You have like guacamole. It what was looks... that a plantain? That looks really good. I'm not sure, but it tastes delicious. So there's plantain. Mm. Yeah, it's just mashed plantain. With the hungry guacamole. Moon is Filipino. Mm hmm. Bread is good. Burst of flavors. The shrimp is grilled perfectly. Mm -hmm. There's guacamole, plantain gives a bit of crunchiness. The shrimp is kind of. How do you call shrimp when it's perfectly done? That little buoyancy when you bite into it. What do you say? I just say it has um, has perfect texture. texture. Yeah. And the bun is sweet. It's a sweet bun. It's like a brioche bun and egg bun. Okay, so mine is soy. It looks like it has pineapple actually. Oh, maybe? Soy Dora. Soy, also the plantain, it looks like it has as well. It's a small fried soy too, so mm. this looks like it's gonna have good texture. Okay. Okay. How to do this and not make a mess. It is gonna make a mess. I'm just gonna, you know what? I'm sorry for those that get offended by this, but she I'm gonna She just have to smushed a burger. Whatever, deal with it. Top tip, when you're on a date, don't go for burgers. First date, unless you don't care. I don't care, I go for you. If they love me as I am, they love me as I am. It's very good. Just that? No, it's very tasty. It's very crunchy. I don't like to talk with my mouth full, but it's yeah, very good. Yeah, you do. Mm. The texture really gives it, like the, with the tofu being crisped up, thin slices and crisped up like that. It's really good. I, I like it a lot. The sauces are really good. They're, oh, I love the pineapple. Mm -hmm. You've got all these savory um, <clears throat> flavors in it. And then there's a Hit slight heat yeah. from, I think it's the sauce. Yeah. And then something that sweet, salt, sour pineapple. Oh, 
It's really good. Did not cool. I like this. I'll probably crave this. This is a great sandwich. I hope they deliver. <laughs> I'll just come back here. This is true. It's a grilled milk fish, which is our national fish. Mango salad, orange, and bits and pieces of pork belly. Okay. And the rice yeah. is unlimited. Yeah. You ask us, we give you more rice. Okay, so we have, you know, mm. this um, So we're gonna try the eggplant. Okay. I do really well with feeding. No, trust you're me. really bad at it. It's so good. It's so good. Mm. Mm. Grilled eggplant. Everything here is grilled. Um, oh, it's so good. But everything has a very distinct flavor, but they all go very well together. So it's amazing. Mm. I'm going to try the pork, like a skewer. It's like barbecue sauce for me, I think. Hold the camera and fork. And fork. Yeah. But you're turning the fork upside down. Why don't you just turn your wrist and feed it to me? Pay respects to our. This way. <laughs> she makes a point. <laughs> mm, muscle. Let's try the muscle. 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 You should probably try and use yours. Oh, yeah. Oh, so good, actually. So good. Tonino is like a, not to Kamayan the dish, is when you sit, you go to a restaurant and mm -hmm. they serve it to you on a big banana leaf and it's got a whole platter. It's very good communal food. Very um, friendly. Love it. Mm, I love okra. I love okra too. Okra. <laughs> Jam overload, right? Jam it's overload. Jam overload. Yeah. And it, there's great. white chocolate and Oreo. What did you say? Golden Oreos and jam, as in them. Ready? Ding. Oh, wow. <laughs> mm, it's really it's good. very good. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. I'm not a big sweet person, but to me, this isn't as sweet as the movie. I absolutely love it. Yeah, considering it has white chocolate and um, milk chocolate. It's good. Mm. I like it a lot. Almost at our last stop. We're gonna get some beignets. I'm gonna get butchered for saying that wrong. Hi there. Hey, can I have the classic and the ubi, please? Stephanie. Stephanie. Stephanie? Okay, absolutely. You actually, she said it wrong so many times today. Beignet? Beignet. Yeah. What's that one? This is called Ubay. Ubi. Ube? Ube. But it's U U U U B B Y. Okay. Chocolate. And then it's a classic beignet with this one. And then it has, it looks like raspberry sauce, which is, or it's not strawberry. Actually, it looks like strawberry. Raspberry is very common. But You just got that all over me. That, my friends, it was really good venue. Yes, it is very good. These are very good. Look at that. Good. Mm. You 
almost kind of have to hold your breath when you eat a beignet because if you breathe, <laughs> just let the powder sugar just going everywhere. <laughs> Dipped in. Mm. That's really good. This is very tasty. Wow. I think I'm full. <laughs> <laughs> we tried six different food trucks today. Yeah. There's there was plenty of others that we wanted to try. It's just physically impossible. I feel I feel unethical to order something just to try it and yeah. then not be able to finish it. We're already taking home. Or what surprised you? We'll say what surprised you the most. Um I absolutely love Tut's. I think it's Tut not too, so I probably just said it wrong earlier. It's Tut's Egyptian food. Oh that sandwich, that little bun sandwich was so good. Oh your little sausage one? Mm. Yeah the 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 mine, the anabi, the cauliflower was really good. Yeah. The french fries were actually really good too. I think mine that was most surprising was actually Hungry Moon. The one we had, the sandwiches that we just had. This is really good. Yeah. See, it's really difficult choice when you take like <laughs> really good food trucks and ask me which one's my favorite. I didn't. I asked you which one was surprising. Oh. They were all great. <laughs> I really enjoyed this experience and I appreciate and thank um, the Street Eats founder, Philip, and also the Street Eats gang for inviting us over to do a little video for you guys. Um, Super fun. Uh, kudos to all the food trucks and all the food owners. You guys are doing amazing and um, I wish you guys all the best. Yes. The cookies were delicious but also Jessa was so lovely. So she was very sweet. So we're gonna for sure be looking at buying more stuff from her. And yeah. it was good, it was such a nice balanced cookie too. Like the salty sweetness of it was really great. We're gonna put all the um, we're gonna put all their Instagram handles in yes. our comments uh, description. Mm -hmm. Description? I can never get that. Description section. So yes. make sure you guys go and follow them. Yes. Um, Check them and out. yeah, support them. I have literally just asked you for what spice you most and then we ran through all of them but that just kind of tells you how good the food is here so you have to come and try it out. There's so many good options and we only got to try, I know they have more coming and we only tried not even half. We didn't even try half of the stuff. <laughs> yeah. So. so they are again, they are open uh, officially on April. Mm -hmm. So do come and hang out here and eat the foods. Yeah, what? come check it out. guys. It's all local. It's all local companies. All local businesses. So you're supporting local. Yeah. Yeah. So cool. Well, that's all for our video today. Bye, okay, guys. Do make sure you like, comment, and share the video if you like us. We will keep bringing more stuff to you as much as we can. Yes. Yum yum.